Are you a police employee? If so, please consider the following message. It's meant to empower, and it's from somebody who's been there. Integrity is said to be the only thing that can't be taken from you, that you must give up. Do you still have your integrity? Why did you become a police employee? What was your motivation? To help others? That was my reason. I went to undergrad and grad school for law enforcement. I went on ride-alongs in dozens of towns, and I did an internship with St. Paul Police. Yet during those experiences, I saw things that did not sit well with me. The stakeouts, buy busts, and so-called confidential informants relied upon to perpetuate the great fiction of the war on some substances. The culture that welcomed, with laughter, the kicking of someone in the head who was handcuffed, and that gave clout to canine handlers who passed around pictures of their dog's bites on suspects. What goes on in your department that shouldn't? I ruled out working for all the federal outfits since I disagreed with their missions. For a time I aimed to work for a big department to make policies more effective. But I realized the things I took issue with, the misallocation of resources and the rights violations were inherent in the system. Have you had similar thoughts? I finally decided I didn't want to be a cog in a machine and I doubt you want to either. Now is the time to step back and take an inventory of your action. Are you still driven by the same motivation now as you were when you started out in policing? How has your time as a police employee changed you? Are you more understanding, more open-minded, more loving? Or have you become more jaded, more disillusioned, more suspicious of others? You must have experienced some internal conflicts. That's a good sign, it means you're a thinking person. Where do you go from here? That is a choice you yourself have to make. You could continue down the same path, all the while becoming more spiteful and setting the stage for an even more divided world. Or as happens at higher rates for police employees, you could try to assage your conscience by turning to the bottle or another substance, taking it out on a spouse, or taking your own life. But those options are clearly not advisable. There is a way out. Quit. If you truly want to help others for a living, consider offering your services to those who desire them. Not through the barrel of a gun, but through a consensual interaction. A great example of this is Dale Brown at the Threat Management Center in Detroit. Contact him to inquire about joining up or about bringing similar efforts to your town. Or pursue another career entirely, content knowing that, by no longer actively participating in a course of monopoly, you present the world with one improved unit. What an example that would be to your kids. What I'm suggesting, to walk away from a career that you may have had for decades, may seem extreme, but you mustn't do what you know is right. I abandoned law enforcement after following its path for six years. I still aim to be a good person and to help others. I just don't believe that those things are possible through the policing apparatus. It's never too late to reclaim your integrity. I did. So can you. On a related note, if you've not yet watched an open message to police and military by Stormclouds Gathering, check it out.